So here we have it, this is the uh, bucket that I'm going to be keeping Terry the Terrapin in. Um, obviously I'm going to be putting the gravel and everything in like that. So yeah, I'll just show you the process of doing that. So have added these that hole there that is because and this one here that is because if it overflows we don't want the turtle escaping because if it was to flow all the way to the top we could easily hop over but because we've got those holes there now it'll drain out and never get all the way to the top so there's no way of him escaping also we did have that log in there to start with which is the video where i ran through the house getting him outside but he did have that log but we put it in and we realized he couldn't actually get on top of it so we've put those bits of bits of brick on so on a hot day he can come and bask but at the moment it's not been the best of summers this year in england but at the moment he's just staying underwater the turtle can quite can withstand quite cold water especially at that age but when it's completely winter, he's either gonna go in the greenhouse or in my room just so he stays a bit warm and doesn't have to hibernate. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. It was only a short little one showing you the new, new Terry, the Mississippi map turtle. I don't know if I've actually said what he was yet. So yeah, so this is Terry. He's a Mississippi map turtle. They get, well, they get this big. I'll put a picture here of me holding another one but he's only a little baby, I'm saying he's about maybe one or two years old. I got him as a rescue, because someone just, someone found out like how big they actually get and realized, nah, I don't want it. So of course I said, yes, please. And now I've got him. So he's only in this little one for the minute, but he will be going in one about this big later in the future when he gets obviously that big. But yeah, that's it for this video. So I'm going to say thanks for watching and see ya.